Oh, it's that time of year again. First of all, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, I know half of y'all are probably with your boos right now or with your loved ones or with someone that makes you feel loved. Um, or you're showing your love to someone by um, spending time with them or however you exhibit your love. So I hope you're enjoying that. I hope you're enjoying today. And even if you don't you don't have any plans with anyone. I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I hope you're convinced of God's love for you that you can just be okay with enjoying yourself. Um, and that's just one thing that I, I really wanted to focus on this week because I feel like a lot of times we um, we experience or we hear the word love. Love is used so loosely now and um, it often applies to our emotions and our relationships and we apply it in different ways and a lot of times it's taken out of context and therefore as a result of our hurts whenever we feel like we've loved someone or whenever we feel like we thought someone loved us and something happens um we take that personally we take it hard and um many times we stop believing in love but this week I want to focus on the root of that um that's something I've been trying to convince myself of lately but Truth is, you can't convince yourself about love. That's something that has to stem from and come from something so much greater than yourself. That has to come from something that you cannot develop and cultivate on your own. And so, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's amazing just learning God. Uh, just learning God and seeing God in our everyday lives and our everyday circumstances. It's amazing just living that out. It's amazing just understanding and knowing his heart. And so this week we're studying love, guys. Uh, not relationship love um, in a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend way. How do you know he's the one? Because I really believe that you can't know any of that until you know God's love, until you know how God sees love, what God purposed when he created love, what is the whole point of love? That's what we're going to dig into today. That's what we're going to dig into this week. I pray that you gain something from the word of God. Understand this. I don't want to give you anything of myself because I cannot do that. I can distort it. I can change it. I can make it fit to my life. But that is not the point of the word of God. God's word does the work for us. So we need to rely on something that is greater and and deeper than anything that we can fathom on our own. So I pray that as you're studying this, that you're open to it, that you're listening. Um, and understand this, love gets misused and misinterpreted, but that doesn't make love less beautiful. So I really hope that you remember that this Valentine's Day. Till next time.